what's up everyone welcome back here to the mega moose channel thanks so much for tuning into another video we are here for another disney park vlog and i am super excited for today because i was creeping on the wait times yesterday for the disney parks and it looked like the parks were absolutely dead it looked like one of the wait times was at highest 20 minutes and i wanted in on some of that action so i set up a reservation for today we are at hollywood studios to start out and then we're going to finish off the evening at magic kingdom so we can see some of the fireworks so let's go ahead and get right on into the parks. And there is no need for preferred parking today because we got parked in about the third row back from Hollywood Studios here. So we have a pretty short walk into the park today. All right, we made it into Hollywood Studios. I forgot to share my outfit. I was so quick to get out of the car. I'm wearing my lime ears for the first time today. I'm very excited to be able to wear them. But we got into the park and it was very interesting because for the longest time, they didn't make you use your fingers to get into the park, but it looks like they are bringing back the fingerprint with your magic band or your ticket scan. So that was pretty interesting to do for the first time today again. So I was trying to think back to the last time that I visited Hollywood Studios here and I think the last time was honestly back in May so it has been a long time since I have visited Hollywood Studios but for whatever reason I have a craving to do Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway so we're gonna hop on that ride it says it's 15 minutes but I'll let you guys know what the wait time is all right we walk through the entire queue we are just waiting at the part that lets you into the pre-show so that's the only time we've had to wait so far here we go actual wait time was about 12 minutes Well, that was Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Only 12 minutes to wait. We're gonna head to Slinky Dog Dash next. But I see that the incredible areas of the park here are finally open. They haven't been open in such a long time. So I'm gonna head in there and see what they have. How cute, there's little Jack-Jack, but all around the walls, you can see little spots where he has been. Super cute. I don't think I've been in this before. Here's a spot where you can get some incredible photos. I imagine they did some character meet and greets with the Incredibles um, a while ago, but this is a pretty cool spot. And they have all of the banners of the Incredibles. There's Mrs. Incredible, Mr. Incredible. We've got Violet and then Dash there on the end. And I didn't even see this until now. Look at the little Jack Jacks up above. Here's a cute little raccoon with some cookies. Oh, and a little lizard guy. And here's another great photo spot with the incredible symbol. And up here it says, Welcome Home Supers. As I was walking out, I noticed something different about this Jack Jack. When you look on the ground, there's some little lines here. And I think that's from when he has little laser eyes. And he shot these lines in the ground. That's pretty cool. Now it's time for another ride. I was going to hop on Slinky Dog Dash, but Toy Story Mania here is only a five minute wait. Let's see if that holds true. All right, here we are in Toy Story Mania. Absolutely no wait at all. Also, what do you guys think of the shades? All right, let's play some games here. All righty, what's my final score? Oh, wait, I'm playing. Let's examine their score. Well, that was crazy because Toy Story Mania was just a walk on, did not have to wait at all. I came over here to Slinky Dog Dash and it does say 40 minutes for the ride. So I think I'm going to pass for now because I want to go do maybe one more ride and then head on over to Magic Kingdom. I'm walking through Star Wars Land as I'm heading out of the park and looks like Ray's out to say hi to some people. Well, I made it back to the car. I decided to leave Hollywood Studios so we can hop on over to Magic Kingdom because it looks like the wait times aren't super bad there. I decided not to do Slinky Dog Dash. That way I can maybe use the time instead to do Seven Dwarfs Mine Train because I haven't done that one in a while. So let's go ahead and hop on into Magic Kingdom. Since it's so late in the day and there's hardly anybody coming to the parks right now, they actually had us just self park. So I drove all the way up to the front of Magic Kingdom parking lot. So I think I can say that this is probably the farthest up that I will ever be. Check this out. There is a rainbow over the magical place on earth. We're by the Will Call and Ticket area. And I just noticed that there's a rainbow. Super sad. It looks like the monorails are down yet again. 
Um, so we are gonna have to take, there's the rainbow again. We're gonna have to take the ferry boat to get to Magic Kingdom this time. And it looks like the decorating for the 50th continues out in front here of the train station. It looks like we've got another 50th sign, the world's most magical celebration. I absolutely love the colorways for the 50th. And I'm super excited for October 1st. We are less than a month at this point, so I'm super excited for it. The first ride I'm choosing to do in Magic Kingdom is Pirates of the Caribbean, and it is only a five minute wait. So let's go walk on this one. Well, I did Haunted Mansion, that was a walk on as well, but I thought I'd show another update here at the Small World ride. It looks like they switched out the Fast Pass uh, line sign to be the Lightning Lane sign, so it's happening. I'm in line for Seven Doors Mine Train. It's interesting because this part with all of the gems in the queue used to be closed during COVID, but it looks like they opened it back up and you can touch them again. And I'm inside the queue right now, inside, and they have the barrels open. They used to have these wrapped off and you couldn't spin them. The lights aren't shining, but they're at least open again. This is the first time that I have ever been in the last row of Seven Doors Mine Train, row 10. So we'll see if it's any different. Okay, just got off of the Seven Doors Mine Train. It was posted 30 minutes, but it was actually more like 20, so not too bad at all. But honestly, the very back row of Seven Doors Mine Train is my new favorite spot to ride on that ride. It was honestly so zippy, so fun, and there were just a lot more twists and turns. Your uh, cart rotated a lot more, so it was a lot of fun. So if you can get the last row in Seven Doors Mine Train, I highly recommend. But we are gonna head over to the castle right now to get in position for some fireworks. This is my first time watching, I'm so close, but I'm planning on getting a front row seat for Happily Ever After. All right, everyone, I finally made it back to the car. It was pretty hectic getting out of the park and everything since I watched the fireworks from the front row, which was amazing. It was a really cool view of the fireworks. That was probably the closest I have ever watched the fireworks before. And I also took the ferry boat back to the transportation and ticketing center. So that took way, way quicker than it would have if I chose the monorail. I didn't get a video of what it looked like, but the line for the monorail looked a little bit obnoxious. So I actually didn't have to wait in any line to get onto the ferry boat. So definitely think about that next time you come to Disney think about taking the ferry boat instead of the monorail but other than that thank you guys so much for tuning into another vlog i hope you guys enjoyed watching today and seeing some disney updates and new things that are going on at disney right now i really enjoyed the low wait times that is the main reason why i decided to come today but i also really enjoyed getting to see some of the new signage coming up the new 50th decorations the lightning lane signs so it's really interesting seeing disney come back from after the pandemic and kind of opening up a little bit more. So really excited for the 50th anniversary and more Disney trips to come. So thank you guys again for watching. If you're interested in keeping up with my Disney travels and Disney vlogs, definitely hit that subscribe button and we will see you guys in the next Disney day. See you guys.